Recording live from Glory Hole Studios in Chicago and beyond, this is Cognitive Dissonance. Every episode we blast anyone who gets in our way. We bring critical thinking, skepticism, and irreverence to any topic that makes the news, makes it big, or makes us mad. It's skeptical, it's political, and there is no welcome at. This is episode fill in the blank, Ian, 641. Two. Two, 642 is what I also was going to say. We are joined by... Two dads Two that I happen to know. Dads couple of dads. Over here. Couple Leo. of dads. We thought this is the dad bod we show thought, today. We thought, yeah. I mean, we mm. all have dad all right. bods. We've some all got us, it. Rocking. Some of us didn't have to pay the price of having a child to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> or were but, you preparing? Uh, uh, I would no. <laughs> the dad no. bod is free. I'll tell it you really what, because nobody would pay for Just, it. It's it's the. It's actually it's actually the stock model. You got to pay for the upgrades. <laughs> that's for sure. It is a stocky model. So, You're not wrong. I want to thank I want to thank you guys for coming today. So we have on the show the Dear Old Dads podcast, which is Thomas, Tom, and Eli. You guys have a brand new show called Dear Old Dads. We're going to talk about this new podcast. I want to start out by asking you why. Did you have kids? <laughs> what, what, what would be the reason to like even have kids, first of all? And then we could get into the whole podcast thing yeah, afterwards. The show's like, not even the... happening now. This was just see, so like I just need to know why did you do it? <laughs> why did uh, it wouldn't be the whole audience, but a part of our audience would love if you just picked up your camera and walked around your house pointing at nice things. <laughs> see? <laughs> see? see? Look see how this? clean it is. It. I'm going to break it and buy a new one. Blah. This this I has no crayons on it. Yeah. Do you see? No you guys, crayon stains. I will tell you that I've 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 noticed a lack of sticky things in Cecil's house. <laughs> For <laughs> 25 years. I, I don't know where he puts that stuff, but I will say the yeah. general Yeah, we don't vibe. want people in that room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, everything in my house was sticky before. So. <laughs> yeah, you had a pug. It. Everything yeah, exactly. had like a, a thin right. layer of slob around mm -hmm. it already. We recently moved, and when we got a new house within a week, there's stickers on every wall, crayon, <laughs> yeah. uh, one, uh, one of them, Arlo, I can't remember if it was Arlo or Phoebe, went up the stairs and just drew on the wall on the way up the oh stairs. Oh my so God, I hate line. that so much. Nice, nice. That's <laughs> the good uh, stuff. Yep. That's this, the good stuff. There's an amazing parenting moment where for two seconds when a friend who doesn't have kids walks into your house. It's just two seconds. For the, you have two seconds of clarity at what a piece of shit your house has become. <laughs> you just look from them. Because yeah. you, you start to yeah. go into the old social function of like, oh yeah, take off your shoes. And then you realize that if they take off their shoes, <laughs> they'll go into the pile of bananas my son has been stepping in. So it's like, no, you know what? Keep your shoes on and try to avoid the you know what? open. In my house, same rule as a public restroom. Uh, Keep your yeah, shoes exactly. on for your safety. It's yeah. it's so funny because I have a, there's a couple that Tom and I are very close with, and they had a kid about four or five years ago. Their their little daughter. She's the sweetest little thing, but it's so funny. You go to their house now. When you went over to their house before, like these, this is a couple that we had yeah. traveled with, like all over the world. Like we're you know they're they're they they didn't have kids until they were much later into their marriage and into their into their lives. And they have a kid now and you walk over and the entire house, you cannot fit another toy in that house. Nope. Like you yeah, literally, right. I don't care what you do. You could like, like, well, you know, like Tom and Jerry, put your back against the toy <laughs> to try to push it in and it's impossible. It is so embarrassing. Every surface it's is covered with a different toy. There's toys everywhere. It is absolute chaos in you their house. That in comparison Pacific, to like four years ago. You know that Pacific. Great Pacific Garbage Patch? That's that's my that's my house yeah. with toys. It's just yeah. it's it's just I can, yeah. we literally clean up by I'll get a bin just like get any like mm -hmm. a wheel or anything just any like a a fucking oil drum a bin and a power washer yeah. and just <laughs> we just fixed. throw stuff in there just throw it all in there and then I you know what we do because we're trying to get ready you know like as you say to have somebody over or something we do all that we go upstairs to their little playroom and I dump it I just yeah. I go I <laughs> dump it. And I go back down like I'm bailing water yep. and out of the boat. The door. <laughs> yeah. Pile of toys, dump in their playroom. Pile of toys, dump. Uh, it's embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed uh, by it. Where, 
Thank so, you. Uh, Thank you both for validating what I had to say. And there's always like, underneath it is always like the cream half of an Oreo just yep. face <laughs> up covered in <laughs> fucking hair. <laughs> See, you God. guys, you guys have young kids though. Like we're at a place with our kids where they're older, where they're, there's parts of the house they're just not allowed in because I like that part of the house too much. Like they're That's just like- the studio like, for me. Yeah, but, but like when there's not allowed in the basement. Like the kids cannot go in the basement. They used to be actually their playroom. We gave them the basement, they trashed it. And we're like, all right, if you do it again, you, you'll lose basement. And like, it's a nice <laughs> finished basement. And they trashed it again. And I was like, all right, all your shit's gone. All your shit goes away. The basement's mine. <laughs> They're not allowed in the basement. That's my space now. I love it. You can't go down there. It. They have to ask me. I'll get a text message from my kid. Can I go in the basement to get something? I'm like, no. 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 Because you lost basement you never privileges. never will see that for thing years. again. It's been Over. years. I know. That's an impressive away. alibi, no. Tom. That's an impressive <laughs> alibi. I, 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 you know, I think a lot of people will believe that. Yeah. He says that to the police too when they don't go in the basement. It's too messy. Yeah. They lost basement privilege. <laughs> to be fair, they the messed it up when you let that yeah. when they caught and the pit <laughs> was a chalk <laughs> outline. They drew chalk all over it. <laughs> okay, so no, but seriously, Sean. you guys decided to start a podcast. What's the podcast about and why did you decide to start it? I don't know. I'll pick uh Thomas. Oh, uh the podcast, Dear Old Dads. Uh, I, I, we've said it before, I think everybody had this idea independently, but Tom was the one who finally like got us all together. And we all, what was funny is we all three had a different kind of idea of like, yeah, I've, I, in the back of our heads, like, ah, I want to do a, some sort of parenting podcast. And then we all three had to like combine that together into a show that is kind of a, a blending of those three ideas. And it's super cool because it's, I don't think the show is exactly what any one of us pictured. But no. it's all it's a it's a great like mix of of what we wanted. And uh, I love it. It is just so much fun to record. It's an absolute joy because, uh, you know, uh, there are people who like kids, Cecil. I, I, it's hard to um, <laughs> we could try to explain it. But uh, <laughs> two out of three of the hosts of Dear Old Sounds, <laughs> yeah. Sounds awful. Genuinely terrible. And we tackle, so, you know, uh, lots of cool <laughs> topics. Go ahead. <laughs> I let the silence I, I go. Until, I mute Thomas You let now. it go. You let it go. I was going to jump in there. You let it go. I want to talk though, like, like when you guys do this, I was, I was thinking about it earlier. Our show and, you know, to extent every one of our shows has this, this sort of feeling like model, yeah. it's, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for saying it out every, loud. <laughs> every one of our shows essentially has a, uh, a, an implicit set of ethics that it follows, right? So we all sort of implicitly tell people what our ethics are based on news stories or movies we watched or, you know, uh, th th working our way through legal arguments. There's all this ethics stuff that we sort of bring out implicitly. But this is a moment for you guys to explicitly talk about not just your ethics, but your advice about how to instill those ethics on a child. I want to ask, I'm going to ask Tom this. Tom, does it make you more vulnerable? And is it a more vulnerable process than what we do on this show? I think for me, it absolutely is. Yeah, I think I think it's something that um, that that I've I've been finding out and discovering as we go through the show is that there's no way to talk about your family and there's no way to talk about your, like your deeply held personal values in a way that has really any fair distance. You, you, you really face two choices. You, I can, you can either self-censor by omission and say like, all right, that I'm going to just exclude sure. this topic or I'm just going to like tell a half of the story. And there's some of that that you do because like some shit about the kids is private. My kids yeah. are older. They have right. a right to some privacy. Sure. They're not like babies at this point. Um, so there's some of that, but like all of this is like, hey, like here's not just what I think about something, but here's how I feel. And that is, an, that is an inherently more vulnerable process. And it is absolutely a more vulnerable show. And you just have to decide, I guess, I just have to be all right with that. Yeah. Like, here mm -hmm. it is. Like, come at me, I guess, if you don't like it. So <laughs> what about you it's guys? It's been interesting. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Because the, the other thing is like, it's not just like how you deeply feel about a thing with no reservations and barely jokes to cover it up. It's also... <laughs> what you're going to do afterwards, right? If I review a movie and I'm like, Tom Hanks looks like a hat board made out of whip the wow. And someone's like, I didn't enjoy that metaphor. I'm like, that's fine. You're not real. But I, that's just how I raise my boy. 
So when someone's like, actually, I disagree with how you raised your boy. I'm like, I would murder you for him. So you have to, it, you can't adjust. It's very hard to adjust. Yeah. The parasocial true, content though. doesn't I work bet, super. Man. I bet, I bet. Thomas, you feel the same way? Um, I think I'm a little different just because my shows have always been a little different. You know, I've never, I don't do anything scripted. It's never been, I, you know, like Eli's other shows and, and I think, you know, Citation needed to a certain extent and other shows you guys do are pretty scripted. I, I think I've just always not really had a filter. I think everybody knows this about me. Um, and so, I don't know. I've always been kind of out there just willing to just say whatever and talk about what's going on and, and my, you know, most intimate feelings about things. And uh, so it's not that much of a change for me, but I will say, I think one good thing about the show is there's not a whole lot of us saying like, Hey, don't do this except for like hitting your kids. You know, that's obviously we're like, Hey, don't fucking sure, hit your kids. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of it is you just us talking hand. about, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it is just us talking about like, here's what I'm doing. And then the other two guys being like, yeah, here's, here's what I'm doing. And we're just kind of talking it through. It's not, it's not preachy, you know, it's just like, we're trying to work through sure. a lot of things ourselves. and. People can take what they want from it um, uh, or they can dish advice to us, which they do a lot of the time. Uh, and uh, you know, <laughs> it's really, but it's really fun. I think a, a lot of the comments we've seen is just people, for one, apparently there's no parenting podcasts where they, they're, they're, that are explicit. None. We we're, are finally the bringing we're the only we one. We're the parenting we're, world. <laughs> we're it. We're going to fucking, <laughs> I mean, no, that's, uh, we got to find a better way to say it. We're bringing children and fucking together. No, that's not. Uh, we'll no, work on it. I, I did that, a bunch of those jokes that. between like 2016 and 2018, and they did not go. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a list now, so I'm he doesn't want to talk about it. This yeah. is why yeah. he's got to take a fucking FBI Amtrak to get anywhere. Hey, he's actually upstairs. <laughs> I can hear him. Like a fucking All right. Live I got a question. Situation. I got a question. Eli, of the three of you, who's the worst dad? <laughs> Who's the worst dad? Who's the worst dad? Oh, dad. <laughs> well, yeah, can we do that? No, 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 no. It's the three of you guys. Who's the three? It's definitely me, right? It's de There's what? something we're missing. No, here's the thing. Tom is telling us everything. Thomas is telling us everything. But we'll be three years into the show and I'll be like, what do you mean they need milk? <laughs> <laughs> like ever? <laughs> hey, you guys just hold your babies up in the shower like this and just sort of wait for them to pass out and that's how you do the bathing thing like I am <laughs> as we horrifically discover moment to moment I am basically an infant myself just lost it alone. Pre-recording this so podcast, I was asking Thomas to to tell me whether or not business expenses just got paid back to you by the government. Like, they were just like, well, <laughs> you bought 400 pencils, so here's $400 worth of pencils. Like, I had no idea whether or not that was the case. So in the long term, when we zoom out, We'll, we'll realize like, oh yeah, but you know what? It turned out Eli's heart was in it, but he was using microphone covers for diapers for three years. So I think we can all agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an A for effort. <laughs> Thomas, who's the worst dad of the three of you? Eli. This is great. Eli. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's gonna be real. Uh, that's real. I don't know. I don't know what uh, it's. Everybody's gonna pick part, themselves and it's gonna be lame. Uh, that's all I'm part saying. Part of the show. No, I pick it firmly. Fight each Eli. other. But, that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> I think <laughs> they all choose the reason I'm the worst. I'm, I'll go to the bad for that. <laughs> Everybody choose a different reason. <laughs> Have you seen what he dresses as? No, I don't. Know. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's impossible to say. And one of the fun things about the show is we have all these plans for like what I'm going to do to help my kids do whatever. And then you, you know, you see your kids and you're just like, I don't know how the fuck any of that happened. Like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I, th I think it's, I think you have to like take the long view. So, you know, the first one of our kids that, I don't know, murders somebody, we'll say like, right. that's the worst dad. We'll just say, <laughs> I was we'll just say to be continued. Because <laughs> every parenting group has the unignorable failure, right? If every friend, a group of parent friends, yeah. yes. right? Eventually, as the and kids you can't grow, say anything. <laughs> no one says anything, but then <laughs> twim twam, you're just like, hey guys, um, we can't, 
we can't use the pool anymore because Twim Twam just runs right over and shits directly into it. And you just you just make all these adjustments. We're doing this in podcast form. Episode 400, we're going to be like, yeah, so Max was a bird again this week. And I don't know where he got all those knives, but you know, he cut himself some feathers and uh, went right off the roof. How's yeah. TB's doctorate going? I hear she's really struggling getting it after the Masters because I know that that's, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> all right tom where's dad i don't know like i feel and i i know this is what you said but like i do feel like in a lot of ways it's me i'm the only one who's like yeah i kind of don't like doing this sometimes <laughs> like <laughs> these guys like these guys have like kids are like little and like they're like still in this honeymoon are, phase hold on. are little kids better though no, oh, like, they're like so they're, great. no, they're so no, great. no, Immediately no, no, he was like, no, they're no, not better. They're not. No, they're, they're not so better. great. No. They're, literally the worst. Absolutely they're so not. great though. But, but your, but your first kid is way different than your second kid because like your first kid, like you're 35th yeah. or whatever you're but, on. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But like at this point, I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to even learn their names. <laughs> like, I just want to point at one of them and be like, pick up something. I'm just going to put a, like, I don't even care what it is. Just pick up something. I mean, to be fair to Tom, we chose to have all our children. Tom got Brady bunched. <laughs> right? Like, you talk about I picked up some STIs in my day, but none of them were 16 year olds. Oh, man. Well, you asked oh. earlier, like, how, you know, why did you become dad? Those would be like, I'm fucking irresponsible. That's like, <laughs> like these guys are like, oh, I like plan for this and that. I'm just like, yeah. it's true. I don't yeah. know. Like, it if felt I did too good in there. <laughs> <laughs> I like I became a dad because I didn't not become a dad. Like you know, Whoa. like so. Whoopsie! It's like that. Oh, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I love the kids, but oh my god. Yeah, I mean, sure. Ooh. Yeah, I love all my accidents. So <laughs> I gotta. I want to ask. Tom wanted to name the second guys one rhythm at, method. They wouldn't let. Like <laughs> you guys look at like movies. When you think about movies, like the broad spectrum movies, is there a dad? that you look at in the movies and you think that's a good dad or that's a dad I would strive to be. Is there any oh, hero a dads in the movies that you look at? And I even have an answer for this one and I'll go last, but I'm going to start with whoever's ready. So whoever wants to go, is there a hero dad that you would say, that's my guy. I would like to be that dad. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. I know you have a <laughs> like I'm such a shithead though. Like, like hold on. He's no, like, Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate like, dad. I don't I don't have a good answer. Like my, my, I was like His kids go right. I, to I sleep, was laughing because I was like, well, Mr. Incredible was fat and he got in shape. So like I want to do that. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> sure. I, yeah, I like, really well, that's the thing about dad portrayal, is there you don't get a lot of good ones. It's the so comedy. Bad. Is the bumbling idiot who can't do anything or, right? or right. up until like last year, even if you tried to portray a good dad, it was like unknowingly and unwittingly sexist and terrible, you know, until like 10 years mm -hmm. ago. So it's, there's not a lot to choose from, but I think Eli is uh, signaling you I might have the one. answer. I thought of one and it's the perfect answer. Mel okay. Gibson from The Patriot. Oh my oh, god. I haven't I didn't seen even it. See what does he movie? do? Yeah. He, he like murders somebody. Kill, someone kills his son and he kills everyone. Kills everyone. Okay. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Liam Neeson yeah. from Taken. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Liam Neeson from Taken. Liam Neeson from Taken. Liam Neeson from Taken. Liam Neeson from Taken. From Taken. Perfect go. dad. Yeah. Like, here's, it, yeah. Here's who I was thinking of the dad from Juno. Who like his daughter's pregnant and oh, he's like a great oh, answer. Yeah. really sweet yeah. about it and great like, answer. helps the kid out and like takes her to the ultrasound and like does all that work and stuff and like understands and doesn't like doesn't get all judgy and, and judgy. Just all right, like, yeah, but guys, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Mel Gibson. If your teenage daughter <laughs> gives birth to the kid she gets knocked up with, you're not a great dad. All right, that kitchen, <laughs> that kitchen table talk needs to be twenty minutes longer. It needs to end at Planned Parenthood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the ukulele she music. Did go to Planned no, Parenthood. get that thing the fuck out of you. <laughs> she went you to Planned Parenthood and she was election. swayed by a sign. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I watched that movie because yeah, I, I don't know. But uh, does he yeah. really just not get an abortion because of a sign? She doesn't. She doesn't. Yeah, she she like. Changes oh, her mind or whatever, no. but she gives it up for adoption and not, and the all the people that are like pro life can love it or whatever. But I just remember seeing the movie. I'm not 
uh, yes or no on the movie. I don't care. But I just remember the dad's portrayal. The dad was like, a yeah. good dad. Yeah. Like a good yeah, dad. Totally. Was a legit, that's totally. a good answer. Yeah. That is better than Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible also, is pretty good. I like Marlon the Patriot Brando answer. in The Godfather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, that orange bit. It's a solid uh, bit. Fantastic. <laughs> Look how they massacred my boy. You know? Yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> you know? Boy. There's yeah, so many bad dads. There really is a lot of, you know, just there's yeah, a lot well, of bad dads though. When you yeah. think about it, there's you're yeah. you're absolutely right, Thomas, that they're they're depicted as bumbling. The other thing too is, you know, and I don't want to talk about like how bad guys have it, but genuinely, uh, you know, stay at home dads have an uphill battle too. Like that's a difficult thing too because they like I I know several of them that say like they get they're sort of like treated like glorified babysitters rather than actual mm -hmm. fathers. And I think that that probably bleeds over to fathers as well. But, you know, we got the patriarchy on our side, so we could take a little hit once in a while. Yeah. No big deal, you know. Yeah. The, the other side of that coin, though, is like, it's so easy culturally to be a good dad. The bar is so oh, low. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. the bar to be a good mom is actually so high, nobody's ever crossed it ever. Because, like, you, yeah. everybody makes it any, impossible. Do you guys have any single friends who are on, like, Tinder or whatever? And they talk about the guys, like girls, and they talk about the guys, the, how they act there. And you're like, the bar is so low. I asked my a friend so of mine who's single. Yeah. I was like, what is it? I just asked her for fun. I was like, what, what is, you know, what's a good Tinder message when someone's trying to like hit on you? And she's like, oh, they just, well, for one, it doesn't have a penis. So that's, you know, to eliminate half of them. There's no, <laughs> no penis in it. And then uh, they have to say like hi and incorporate like a single thing in my profile to their Anything message. Anything about me. <laughs> it's like you have to get an <laughs> F plus on a school assignment to be to be a good dude on a dating app. It's similar with dads. Like it's it there's is. it's not a high bar. It's not a high no. bar currently. No, you like you get you get like an ir you like a, you get an irresponsible amount of points for like taking a kid to the grocery store. Like you take a kid to the grocery store and like the kid doesn't smell weird and like you accomplish grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, and like people around you will look like, look at you like you fucking created cold fusion out of Fig <laughs> Newtons. It's fucking and, outrageous. You did and, nothing. You did literally nothing. People ascribe beautiful tragedy to you, right? You're walking through the store. Like, I, bet, I bet she died in a Car mining accident. accident yeah. and, Oh, she I got just eaten go with by it. the T-Rex and he tried to hold the doors for her, but he couldn't. And then my, my wife's walking to the grocery store and they're like, if this fucking woman doesn't move out of my way so I can get to the Oreos in the next three seconds, I'm going to shoot her with an air T-shirt gun. So true. <laughs> it is. Oh, I do catch myself um, being embarrassingly impressed with, with stuff and I shouldn't be where I'm like, man, I fed the kids and I did this. I'm like, oh, that was just super basic. I really... Should not be impressed. <laughs> but I fed my children food and they went to bed. That's not, that's it's, really that's not too much. Really to the expectations <laughs> for men is so low that they made a whole movie that was called Three Men and a Baby, which was just, will they kill it? That was the plot <laughs> of the movie. That's, you couldn't make three women and a baby. Will they no, kill it? They're just passing it back and forth, shaking the shit out of it. It's like, don't even take it. It was yeah. a concept of a of a blockbuster. Was are they gonna kill this fucking baby? Probably. <laughs> There's three of them. Maybe. What three a, three times what to kill a baby. We don't know how we're gonna fill the third act of the movie, but I mean, uh, <laughs> if they made if they made three women and a coffin, baby, though, that they would <laughs> rename it too many, two women, too many, and a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When are you guys stopping? Like, when is it done? When are you just finished having kids? Like, how many kids is too many kids? <laughs> Five ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have four. four. Yeah. <laughs> Who, how, how many? How many do you have, Thomas? Your wife just just announced. How many will you have soon? Three. Uh, in Three. in December, it'll be our third, and then I'm getting the balls chopped off. Look, procedure. No, ah, his lying ah, eyes. Third Look is his lying I'm, eyes. <laughs> third is lying eyes. Third is already. <laughs> I can see it. this is going to be a seven kid family. Oh, I'm gonna show no. you the paperwork, <laughs> my friend. Is enough. No, Eight you are, is enough. It, you better live stream your vasectomy, or I'm not gonna yeah. believe it. That's yeah. gotta be a patron. I'll special. tell you what. A lot of people want to see your balls, Thomas. So I think it would be a big hit. Big That's hit. True. Specifically <laughs> the balls. 
specifically, specifically. I get so many messages. <laughs> but you so should many do it messages. On that thing that you were streaming Show some through. sack. <laughs> yeah. you, should, you should do that thing on that you Make were streaming through on Make it look like a face away, again. Scrunch <laughs> it up. <laughs> that wing. My vasectomy is on the 19th. Oh, oh. wow. Mm -hmm. So of you're just, month, that's it. You're, you created uh, you're, the perfect child and you're done. If There's she no could reason have rolled to upgrade. off the table and had me roll on for the vasectomy, she should have. If she could have gotten a two for one coupon, she was like, look, man, you got the scalpel out already. Get to work. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right, guys, where can people find your show? The internet. <laughs> wherever you get your podcast yeah, yeah wherever you get your podcast oh, no, no, your no. old dads on podcast thingies yeah what's that what's that Tom everywhere but Stitcher everywhere oh, but there Stitcher you go. yeah fucking everywhere, everywhere but, but Stitcher, Stitcher. Mm -hmm. yep we're, we're all everywhere right. but Stitcher all right well guys thanks for joining us check out dear old dads on all the places where you can get podcast stuff we're gonna put the link in the show notes this week thank you Eli and Thomas for coming on and telling us about your show Thanks for oh, having thank us, Thank you, guys. Cecil. Thanks so much Thanks, for guys. having us.